Okay, here's the deal. I'm taking over pirate radio style, pirate video style. Uh, got the camera. I'm going to take a little lightning tour around the house, try and show you guys some of the hot spots, some of the problems. The house is in the exact condition that it was when I got home from work today. Um, minus baby's snowsuit, which she is sleeping in upstairs. So, uh, here's my first crime of the day. Coming in, kicking off the boots, two bags on the ground right by the door. Looks like uh, Mrs. F beat me to that one today. Uh, you've all seen the playroom. You've all seen the closet. You know, here's the kind of classic case of uh, our bag of gift bags. Do we need all those gift bags or weird shopping bags? Of course not. Usually, they're up there. Mrs. F had to get a gift bag down for Valentine's Day, and she's too short to put it back away. So, that's the kind of thing that happens. Uh, these three junk pockets by the back door. Easily two-thirds my fault. It's probably an oil change coupon that's expired nine months ago. I don't know, you know, coupons? We just gotta give up on that. Never gonna use them. Never gonna remember to bring them with you. And they just clutter stuff up. Here's the craziest closet going. This is, uh... I have some stuff in here, but, uh... This is the kind of overwhelming project that I don't feel qualified to tackle since, you know, it's beyond my domain in many ways. Not sure, uh, you know, what's expired, what's not, what's in use, what's not. Crazy. The next closet. This shelf's pretty much all me. Uh, it's, uh, this is our quote-unquote hardware shelf. This is our uh, weird cleaners and stuff, and we try not to use any of these cleaners anymore. But, of course, you don't want to just dump them out or throw them away, so what are we going to do? We're going to keep them forever, I guess. Some tools, and uh, that's our... Hey, there's actual linens in this closet. You know, maybe 10% uh, of the uh, shelf space of the linen closet is linens. Um, here's another thing. Kid got a, gate, a great present from uh, her grandmother for Christmas. It's a blow-up skating rink and some ice skates. It's, uh, it's the day after Valentine's Day, and here they sit. Uh, we're never going to set this kind of thing up. And, uh, you know, we just got to take the plunge and uh, mail this back to wherever it came from, you know? If we can even still do that. That's the kind of thing that stymies us. Uh, bag from Target. Probably contains some stuff that needs to go back to the store or we haven't fully committed to keep. Hey, what's this? It's another one. I believe this is this is me, but I bought some extra passies for, for baby, and uh, then the, that day we found about five of them hidden in a weird spot, so those need to go back. That's 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 a key problem for us, because uh, let me take it right over here. This comes into play all the time. Here's two old Navy bags. Uh, this one is uh, stuff that Mrs. F bought, probably for herself. And uh, she's got to try stuff on. You know, I'm not going to begrudge anybody that. She's got to, you know, she's got the kids. She's grabbing her stuff, going going through the store, bringing it home, trying it on. That'll have to go back to the store, probably two-thirds of it. That's fine. But this bag, this bag's all me. I bought this stuff, gosh, uh, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. A bunch of socks for the kids. You know, we've just been taking socks out day by day as we need them when there's nothing clean. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just put those in a drawer, huh? Um, but that's the thing, you know, we keep these bags, we keep these receipts, because we're never sure, we're never, you know, I'm indecisive naturally, uh, Rachel's not committed about different things, you know, we never can make up our mind on what we're keeping, so that, that happens all the time. You know, the rest of this stuff, you know, then we, you know, we end up some, with some more weird stuff like that, some receipts and different things that have to go back over here. Uh, yeah, this kitchen is, is crazy, but this is how it goes every day, you know, Mrs. F's got to go to, uh, preschool or dance class or swim lessons or whatever, she's got to make meals and, and, and stuff, and this is what it looks like every day, but it starts out clean every morning, you know, and that's, uh, that's my job, cleaning the kitchen, I don't do any cooking, so it's my job to pick up and do the dishes, and that's, uh, that's fair, got no beef with that. Uh, a couple of minor things that drive me kind of crazy is, is 
They're not in here right now, but sometimes there'll be some little stickers from the fruit here. I kind of always hate that. And I do hate this. That's the egg wash from Kid F and uh, Mrs. F's croissants this morning. And this kind of turns into like a nasty egg deal. Yeah, I don't ever like to clean that 10 hours later. But otherwise, you know, I got no complaints because Mrs. F's a great cook and we eat really well and, you know, that's the way we divide the labor. Um, that's an area that's almost always perfectly clean. He's, uh, Mrs. F's a stickler on that. There's three extra bases on there uh, from yesterday, but uh, that's always clean. Here's, a, here's an interesting little thing. This is something that uh, Rachel's grandmother sent to us. And uh, I'm going to mistakenly refer to people by their real names throughout this video, I'm sure. Um, Rachel's grandmother, God love her. She's in her 90s. She's got lots and lots of stuff, and, and uh, she's really, really good about uh, writing little notes to Kid F and, and sending stuff, and, and uh, you know, what kid doesn't love getting a package or, you know, with, with a crazy frame of weird Xerox photos in it. Um, but we get a lot of that, and, you know, when we lived in New York, we actually had to go down one time when they... Uh, we're moving from one place to a much smaller place, and we came home with boxes of stuff, and yeah, we moved them to Michigan, and they're still down in our storage room, 